Hello everyone. Uh, this is uh, a condition that I have uh, when I have to I have a uh, I section that has been embedded into a concrete section, and uh, I have to design this concrete section to take the load that will be transmitted from this I section. So, what is my end goal? And this is the initial uh, problem that I have, and I have a load of twenty kilo newton that will be acting at this edge and I have to design the concrete section for this uh, this loading uh, so what I the end result that I expect is in this form I should get some kind of UDL that will be because of this entire section going down and then as this section will try to uh, rotate this way like uh, it will have a moment in this direction so I'm expecting a force in this way and another in this so actually uh, this will be the output that I'll put into the software that I am using for designing this beam uh, this uh, concrete section so how to get there from just this uh, information in here as you can see it's one meter embedded and two meter is uh, exposed for the loadings so what I'll do is I'll just uh, make a free body diagram okay <coughs> so this is the load that I have and all these are in uh, the same line so you can see it's two meter and this is one meter over here I'll just put a mark in here now this is the beam and it's uh, like an overhang beam right now so uh, what I wanted to like I want to just idealize the situation by saying that this entire part is fixed I mean it's embedded so it has to be the load uh, that will be coming from this edge so what I'll do is I'll put uh, I'll consider this as the entire reaction so my reaction will be like this because the load is coming down so the reaction will be taking it upward but as you can see it's a, a cantilever kind of uh, position so I have I'll have another reaction that will be in the form of moment and as you can see uh, this part is embedded so it uh, the moment at this joint should be zero uh, so what I'll do is I'll just put a reaction in over here so this is my R and this is my M. Okay, so we got it un until uh, this point. So what I'll uh, do next is I uh, 20 kilonewton is was missing. Okay. So it's now simple. You just have to use the equilibrium equations. Uh, summation F y equal to zero. In this case, uh, you have to know, see that I don't have any kind of uh, horizontal forces in here. So uh, my sink conditions are top negative and downward positive so minus r plus 20 equals 0 therefore r is equal to 20 kilo newton but this r is over a span of 1 meter therefore udl shall be of 20 by 1 meter so equal to 20 kilo newton per meter next is to find this moment in here and uh, as I have told you that uh, for this joint to be stable and it's uh, and it should uh, should be stable for uh, the design purpose and serviceability conditions I'll have to see uh, make sure that summation of all moments at that point is equal to zero as well so now my convention again is this way it's negative and this way it's positive okay so uh, first I'll start from the left I have this moment in here is minus m plus and I have this other uh, UDL I, have, I haven't considered this R into picture right now because I'm just estimating the forces so 20 into the 20 into liver arm is 2 kilo newton uh, 2 meter which is equal to 0 therefore m is equal to 40 kilo newton meter so now you see uh, we've got this and we haven't got these two things and the reason why we need uh, the moment in this uh, in the form of couple is 
that uh, because I use a software which has which has a limitation where I can't put this uh, moment in there. And if I put this moment in there, I get a uh, an error. I get some kind of error, and it's actually messes up the entire system. So uh, next time I'll be trying to convert this uh, moment into a couple. So let us uh, draw a loading diagram over here. And now there, here's an important rule: loads are always a negation of reaction. So if you see over here, this is the reaction. So its effective loading will be in this form. And if this is the moment, uh, this is the reaction, then its effective loading will be in this fashion. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, first draw the load and this is about 20 kilonewton per meter of course for a, a range of 1 meter and uh, now I have to I have this moment as well as I told you reaction it's always a negation of reaction if this is a low uh, if reaction is positive then the loads will be always negative and if the and vice versa so I have this as of 40 kilonewton meter uh, so here's the logic behind uh, transmission. So if this is a beam over here and I have a moment in this way. So in order to find the reaction, this formula M by L. The, uh, for any given uh, beam, the uh, moment can be resolved into its uh, reaction forces by M by L using the equation M by L. So in this case, uh, if you see this beam is uh, turning this way. So like, uh, that means that it is having a component in this direction, a component in this direction. And if the moment would be like this, I would have, oh uh, sorry, uh, I would have a component like this and another like this way. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, have this done again. So this way, this time I'll just be drawing the uh, moment itself only. So I have this. Uh, 40 kilonewton meter. Uh, now my span is one meter, as you as I have one meter mentioned before. Uh, why one meter? Because the resisting action shall be provided by this concrete over here, and uh, the other part is having no uh, like no influence right now. So we can now transmit this uh, moment into the forces. So 40 kilonewton, 40 divided by the uh, span is one meter. So I have a reaction here that will be a 40 kilonewton, a 40 kilonewton, and it's this in this way. So the couple should be this and this. Okay. So the couple here, other couple here is 40 kilonewton as well. So finally, uh, my beam is ready right now. So what I'll do is. And uh, I guess this was 20. Right? So we went from here to here. And uh, I've actually checked this out by using some other uh, softwares and I found the similar result. Uh, it was almost the same. So thanks for watching. And uh, let me know in comments if uh, what are your opinions about this transmission uploads. Thank you.